All right, ladies and gents, this is the DFS experience for Saturday, March 2nd. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna start with Friday slate. We already knew that once it was, um, once it was, what's that shit called? Um, no swapping. We already knew once there was no swapping, there was going to be some bullshit going on. Um, so much shit happened. I don't even. I'm not even going to get into it. But you know, you just you could feel it in your bones. You know what I'm saying? Like, I already told somebody earlier. Like, yo, I already know some shit. I, I could feel some weird shit that's happening. But I'm not going to just not play a slate because I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? It just. You you know when it's shit gonna I heard I didn't play him. I heard Anthony Edwards left him left mid game because his baby was being born. I thought usually they just missed the game. Be be at the hospital with the baby mama or the fiance or the wife. And I didn't know that they go to the game and leave mid game. When 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 the NBA promotes DraftKings and Underdog and FanDuel and you know people are putting up crazy money on over-unders and props and fantasy and first quarter points and first half points. So you know all this but you let a guy play knowing that he might have to leave mid-game. That's nasty. You know what I'm saying? That's real nasty. And the thing is a lot of people don't look that deep into it. You know what I'm saying? They, they're average. They, listen, they're in bed with them. The NBA is in bed with DraftKings and FanDuel and all because that's what the wave is now. It generates a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? But it's kind of it's kind of fucked up letting the guy play, knowing. That if he got if they got the call, he would have to leave. You gonna tell me Minnesota didn't know he would he was gonna leave if they got that call? They knew that. Who the fuck called him? They didn't call Anthony Edward. He didn't. Did he have a cell phone in his pocket? No. They, they got in touch with somebody and they let him know. So somebody knew. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like it's nasty work. Nasty. I'm too deep in this shit to just stop playing DFS and fantasy and props and all this shit. I'm way too deep in it, but real nasty work out there. Let's see if we could um I don't wanna do we do do you need me to mention Memphis and Portland? I'm not why well, I got I'm not even gonna waste my energy on those bumps. They didn't even show up to work. They shouldn't get paid for Friday night. Cause they didn't even show up to work. And guess what? We got them again on Saturday. When I really I don't really look at these these slates until I'm about to start making a video cuz I really want I want this I want my videos to be from the perspective of you know opening the app looking at the slate and then talking myself through it you know as if I wasn't making a video that's how that's why that's how I I look at these slates I just looked at this shit and it said Portland and Memphis. I really had to look at the the slate to make sure it was the right one. I'm like, they're playing again? Like, we had to sit through this shit Friday night to go through this shit again? Nobody's going to want to play them. And I'm not going to lie to you. I had a feeling that in the back of my mind, I, I knew they was going to shit the bed. But I'm like, yo, you guys are so cheap. Jeremy Grant, 7-1. Anthony Simon, 7-5, going up against the G League. Like, how can you fail? Oh, sure, shit. They all failed. All of them. Each and every one of them failed. Goodwin tried. Goodwin tried to salvage some shit. But he wasn't cheap either. He wasn't dirt cheap. He just was in a great spot. Now we're looking at him again on a Saturday. On a three-game slate. So we're supposed to believe that we're going to go back to them and they're going to be better. Let's start with point guard. We got, I think we got Booker up top. 9.3K. He, he, he's at a good price on a three-game slate. 9.3K. 
Simon, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't know what to tell you about Simon's. I wasn't gun ho about Simon's. I really wasn't gun ho about him. Cause he hasn't been playing that spectacular to me. The fucking industry loved him. Oh, Anthony Simon, Anthony Simon, shove him up your ass, Anthony. And he did exactly what I thought he was gonna do. I don't. I. I he. He might play a little bit better on on this slate, but they traded. They got rid of Lillard, thinking they had Anthony Anthony Simons as like you know we got Simons. We got a nice great guard. This fucking guy ain't worth a fucking bottle of fucking peanut butter. And get this guy to fuck off my screen. Jamal Murray, if he's in, he's a fucking Laker killer. That I could tell you. I don't know a lot, but I know one thing. I know Jamal Murray's a fucking Laker killer. If Jamal, Jamal Murray is in, he's your first guy in. If he's out, lock in your kitsch. You're welcome. D'Angelo Russell, I think he's proven that he's reliable. 7-2, fire him up. Van Vliet. When I look at Van Vliet, I think I think about like going into Walgreens, right? And going into Al Seven on the left hand side. You're gonna see some yellow bags. Under the yellow bags, you're gonna see some some cans. You know what the cans are? Dog food. That's what I think about when I see Van Vliet. I think about dog food. The yellow bags have the pedigree. And the fucking cans under it are whatever the fuck it is. Whatever they have for dog food in those cans, that's what fucking Fred Van is. Dog food. You can get him off my screen too. Fuck out of here. He's a bum. Bradley Beal is washed. And he's injury prone. He needs to retire. And go fucking teach a high school somewhere. Because all he's doing is ru ruining our lineups. Reeves is absolutely in play. Too cheap for his upside. If you get a if you're getting a competitive game out of the Lakers and Denver, Reeves is gonna be um important. Six point five fire him up. Jalen Green is sometimes, but I'd rather play him than fucking Van Vliet. I don't think I need Reggie Jackson at five point nine K. Because if Jamal Murray is out, Reggie Jackson ain't gonna be the point guard point guard. He's just going to be out there in the point guard's role. But we know everything goes through Jokic. So why pay 5.9 for a point guard who ain't going to point? You feel me? All right. Who else is here? Our man Thompson, you could take a shot. Goodwin's price came up. God, that team is awful. Spencer Dinwiddie, you could take a shot if he's your last man in. I'm, I'm not really feeling this slate. I know it's my job to... Break it down and then essentially make lineups for it, but this shit is so ugly. But one thing, it's Saturday, and a lot of people aren't going to, not a lot, but it's only three games, but people, value is going to come, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm not worried about building lineups. It's just disgusting to look at Portland and Memphis, Houston, and then with Phoenix, there's only two, maybe three guys you can rely on, depending on the day. All right. Vince Williams. <sighs> He's got to be in play because of the three-game slate, but I don't say that. I don't say that with a smile. Uh, He's in play, but after that poor performance Friday night, I wish I could just X these bastards off the screen, to be honest with you. Both Mem Memphis and Portland. What a disgrace. Um... Grayson Allen's in play. Zaire Williams, another one. You know, these young guys should be chomping at the bits to get some run and get some usage and show the world what they're capable of. And what they what do they do when they get on the court? They fucking squat down and shit on the bed. That's all they fucking do. These fucking guys get paid. They don't care. You never see this shit in the 90s. Everybody played hard every fucking game. They may not have been, they may not have been ta as talented, but they played hard every game. You never go to a fucking Knicks game and see fuck, fucking Patrick Ewing and Charles Oakley 
and Charles Smith and John Starks and Mark Jackson just laid down. You never see that shit. You never see the Pacers do it. Fucking Rick Smith, Antonio Davis, fucking Reggie Miller, fucking you. Don't, you never see them. You never go to a game and see them lay down. Even if the teams are bad, they never lay down. These fucking guys today, they just lay the fuck down. Like fucking carpet. <sighs> Boy. Do you know what they do after they lay down? They go into their locker room. They get up on their phone. They get up on their Twitter and they say, oh, fuck your bets. They think this shit's a game. That's what they do. Tell me I'm lying. Listen, let's wrap this shit up. I'm getting mad. I'm about to fucking go to fucking... I'm about to go to Memphis right now and slap one of these guys in their mouth. Fucking Jesus. Who the fuck is this? Chris Murray. You want to play Chris Murray? Is he going to start again? I don't know. Who the fuck cares? 4.8K Chris Murray. I don't. What, what do you want me to tell you about fucking Chris Murray? The fuck you want me to tell you? Last five games. 10, 24, 26, 9. 26. He took eight shots. Two rebounds. Two assists last game. He had three steals. He gets a few steals. I'm not confident in this, in this bitch. Fucking Chris Murray. I'm not confident. You might need him, but I'm not confident in him. He's in the player pool, but I'm not confident in him. Caldwell Pope. He plays well against the Lakers. If he's in play, play him. Dylan Brooks. 4.6. Three game, three game slate. He's in play. Canard, Eric Gordon, not interested in Whitmore. You could take a shot on. All right, let's go to small forward. Let's wrap this shit up. I'm, I'm about to fucking book a flight to Memphis and just slap, just start slapping everybody on that team. To be honest with you, because that fucking performance gonna give me nightmares. Lakers, LeBron's in play. When you see LeBron like prancing around, that's how you know he's feeling good. When he's feeling good, you'll see it on the court. When he's not hurt, like hurt, hurt. But when he's feeling when he's feeling it, you need to play him. Nine point six K, fire him up. Jeremy Grant. I don't want to talk about Jeremy Grant. Michael Porter is absolutely in play at seven. I'd rather play Michael Porter than Jeremy Grant. In a competitive game, Michael Porter would be very important. If Jamal Murray's not in the game, Michael Porter would be more important. Fire up Michael Porter at seven K. Royce O'Neal's in play. If he starts, Hachimori could take a shot on. He's in play. Kamara's gonna start and probably do nothing. Twenty six, seventeen, five, thirty five, and sixteen fantasy points. Last five games, he took five shots, seven shots, four shots, twelve shots, and then back to five. I can't trust this guy, Kamara. Laravia, three point eight k. I would like to tell you that he'll get some run tomorrow or Saturday, but I don't know what the fuck Memphis is doing. You know, you know why I don't know why what Memphis is doing. Because Memphis don't know what Memphis is doing. That's why. Listen, let's go to, before we go to power four. Let's just get some things out the way. Cause I'm about to, I'm about to throw my water bo- water bottle. Getting upset. Listen, if you're new, welcome. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my video on a three game slate. I know you guys have got things to do on a early Saturday morning. Um, but you're taking time out. You know, for little old me, really, 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 really thankful. If if you're having more bad days than good with DFS and you need my help, you want me to send you lineups, my finalized optimal lineups right before lock, no problem. I can help you. Check out the Patreon link in the description. We got super chats open or superpowers, whatever they call it on YouTube. Channel memberships are open. You can take a look at it if you have time. Don't forget. Oh, well, I know what I need to tell you guys. Okay. I'm going to say it again. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Thumbs up the video. Because YouTube's algorithm is all out of whack. And I know that for sure. Another thing. Every day around 110. Between 1 and 130. East Coast time. I want you to check YouTube. Check my channel for my shorts. 
Cause that's why I'm gonna have some of my I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make it like value plays if they're worth you know telling you about. But usually I'll I'll put my best play, three of my three of my good plays for both DraftKings and Fanduel. So you may not get an alert from YouTube, but you could go ahead and check it because I will be posting it around 1:10 East Coast time. Don't forget that. And I know for sure that YouTube is not sending out the alerts to people that are subscribed. So that's not on y'all. That's on YouTube. I'm going to have to have a word with them on Monday anyway. Because I don't know what the fuck they're playing with. Anyway, let's go to Power 4. Let's wrap this shit up. Everybody pissing me off tonight. Okay. Okay. KD 9.5. Um, He's an okay play. But, you know, it's Booker's team. Everything goes through Booker. Yeah, Durant could break the slate, but um, Booker gets the first crack. If Beal is out, Durant should get more usage. 45, 34, 60, 42, and 40 fantasy points. As long as he's taking 20 shots, I'm fine with it. Actually, Durant might be a little bit sneaky. It's a three-game slate. Maybe not. Maybe not. But people usually game log chase. And if they go to Braun and look at the game log and see these gaudy numbers, they'll play. They'll want to play LeBron. You see what I'm saying? 37, 54, 62, 59, and 52. What I'd say, when LeBron is dancing around and shit like that, that means he's feeling good. You're going to get this. He's shooting fucking 600. He's shooting fucking 500 from three. The fuck? I think he's shooting 400 for the year from three. You play LeBron, play Durant, mix it up. Jabari Smith Jr., I think you got to play on the slate. Aaron Gordon's absolutely in play against the Lakers. Denver loves playing the Lakers. Actually, they have a little bit of a rivalry, so whoever you can shove in from that game, go ahead and do it. Less, the less Memphis and Portland, the better. Santi Aldama, you know, I had a bad, st- I had a bad feeling in my gut ra- rostering this, this fucking clown. And I rostered him anyway. Man. Who the fuck is the dickhead? Me or him? I think it's me for rostering this bitch. Get this fucking guy off my screen. Who the fuck else is here? I don't want to talk about Gigi Jackson. He should have stayed hurt. Stayed off the fucking court. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. No, I fucking did. I fucking did. No kids. 11.4. Absolutely in play. AD. Still too cheap. 10.2. Fire him up. If you could find a way to get Jokic and AD in the same lineup, just do it. Sangoon, 8.4K. If he could fucking stay in the game, good for him. I'm not really interested in at I'm not interested in him at the moment. Um Nurkic 7.1. Kind of maybe a little bit sneaky. Duat Reese, 4.6K. You could take a shot on him. Because fucking I think DeAndre Ayton is stuck in ice somewhere again. And I'm not playing Jemison, and his price came up. I don't know why his price came up, but his price came up. 30 minutes. 13 fantasy points. Let me tell you something before I get off this. If you if you if you if you gave me a uniform, right? Some and a headband and some Gatorades. And you put me on the fucking court against Portland for 30 minutes. I promise you, I'll give you more than 13 and a half fucking fantasy points. This guy, this guy signed his, his he got his deal. So, so I don't, before he signed his deal, this guy was fucking Don, the, the, the David Robinson. Before this guy signed his deal, he was David Robinson. Go look at the numbers. Oh, he got his, he got the guaranteed contract. Now he's fucking Vladi Divac. Yo, I'm done. I got to get out of here because I'm about to throw my fucking computer out the fucking window. I'm fucking done. The rest of these guys I'm not interested in. Fucking Eubanks. Fucking Moses Brown. Fucking David Jordan. Fucking Tommy Young. Fucking. Maybe Jackson Hayes you could take a shot 3.3. No Londell. No fucking Michael Hurt. Whatever the fuck his name is. Matt Hurt. I'm not playing Matt Hurt. Fucking Matt Hurt. I know he got some run tonight. Seven minutes. whoop de doo He had a better points, fantasy points per game than fucking... Je- Jamerson or whatever the fuck you want to call it, he calls himself 7.6 fucking fantasy points Jamerson 30 minutes 13 fan- uh, get me the fuck out of here I gotta go listen 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 thank you 
Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell. Thumbs up the video. Check out the Patreon link in the description if you need lineups. Oh, tomorrow we're going to be busy. We're doing early slate. We're doing afternoon slate. We're doing MMA. We're going to be fucking doing this all day. And we're cashing all day tomorrow. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Listen, that's what we're going to be doing. Listen. Superpowers are open. Super chat, whatever the fuck you call it on YouTube. Those are open. Channel memberships are open. Everything is open. Pause. That sounded crazy. But listen, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Ciao.